as is Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do something really fun. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you are choosing to spend a portion of your day with me. And in today's video, we will be doing a project, but the purpose of this video is to share with you two very crafty items that I will always have in my paper crafting stash. And after I show those to you, I'm going to use them to make a very quick craft. So those of you who are new to my channel will see exactly how I choose to use these. And I use them quite often. And I know that y'all are wondering, what are those two things? Well, I'm not going to keep you waiting. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get started. So have you guessed what the two things are that I always keep in my craft paper stash? If you guessed, cut aparts and stickers, you would be correct. I rely very heavily on stickers and I rely very heavily on cut aparts. And I do that because they are a very quick way to embellish a project. They are a very quick way to get that instant pop of color without having to stamp and then go back in color. And they always have the sweetest little messages. And the sticker sheets usually have some border strips and you have all types of wonderful ways that you can decorate your projects. And the same is true with the cut aparts. They generally come in a whole bunch of different sizes. You can see here we have this long strip on this summertime cut apart that says bucket list. Then we've got some places where if you actually wanted to write out that list, you could. And then on the birthday sheet, we have a calendar. You can circle the month and the birth date. And if you wanted to, you could actually add the year. But you have all of these wonderful cut aparts that just make crafting so much fun and so easy. And y'all, I have cut aparts and stickers for a variety of occasions. And if you're wondering how I find them, I find them by going online and searching 12 by 12 sticker sheets. Let's say I'm looking for Christmas sticker sheets. I'll search 12 by 12 Christmas sticker sheets. If I'm looking for St. Patrick's Day sticker sheets or St. Patrick's Day cut aparts, that's what I'll put in the search bar. And then I just choose the ones that appeal to me but there is no magic to how I have all of these stickers and cut aparts. It's just a simple matter of going online, searching to see what's out there, and then picking what I want to work with in my craft. So for those of you who haven't really ventured into using stickers and cut aparts in your crafting, give it a try because I think you'll very quickly fall in love with just how easy it is to take these and make something beautiful. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make a very quick and beautiful project using stickers and cut aparts that I have laid out right here. So what I'm also going to use on this is I have this blank card and it's from Anna Griffin's 2021 birthday card box. Now you guys know that I purchase a lot of Anna Griffin card boxes and I purchase them mainly for the embellishments and then I will use the cards or the bases that come inside of those boxes as part of my crafting. I generally don't make the cards that she'll demo because that's not really my style, but those boxes contain hundreds and hundreds of pieces of embellishments that are my style. And then the bases are so easily dressed up and that's what we're going to do right now. So I am going to take this five by seven card from Anna Griffin's 2021 birthday card box and you can see on the back that she has a little handmade by you. I'm going to take this and we are going to dress it up using our cut aparts. And you're going to see how easy it is to take something that looks like this. And this is already beautiful. And we're going to make it into something outstanding. So this is a five by seven. So I want to lay down a base and I'm going to take my base and I'm going to cut my base at six and a half. by four and a half because I still want some of that floral to show not a whole lot but I do want some of that background on there to pop and so then I'm going to take this pale pink that is in this little kit from the stamp market and it's just solid colors and I'm going to take this and I am going to cut this down to four and it's already six, so I'm going to leave that. I was going to cut it down to four by six, but it's already six inches long, so we are starting with something that's going to look like this. And then I'm going to cut apart my cut aparts. So that I can use some of them 
on this project. Don't know if I'll cut all of them out, but I am going to cut out enough so that if I want to use them, I will be able to. Okay, so now that we have some components, let's go ahead and take this and turn it into something a little bit more than just a card. So I'll take my tape runner and I'm just going to run some tape. We'll take this piece and we're going to place it down, trying to get it centered. And now we'll take this piece and do the same thing. So we cut this piece at four and a half by six and a half. We cut this piece at four by six. And we're mounting both pieces to a five by seven card base. All right, so now we have our base somewhat decorated. I am going to decide which one of my cut aparts I actually want to use. And I think I'm going to use this one. So what I also think is that I want just a little pop of color around this cut apart that is completely different from the pinks. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to pull in just a little bit of this color, not a whole lot. Then I'll just place it in my trimmer and I'm going to trim away some of that excess. And so now we have this piece that's just a little bit more finished looking when we put it down. And I'm going to pull out my birthday sticker sheets and I think I'm going to go with this one because it's more feminine, which is what I'm working with right here. So I think I'm gonna try this flower and I don't really want to put it on the top, but, ooh, that's nice. But I think what I will do is place that down and then we'll place this on top so we have just a little bit of that flower sticking out. So I am just going to take my tape, add some tape to the back. Y'all are seeing how simple this really is. We're able to use those cut aparts and just create something Oh, so beautiful. So I'm not going to take this cut apart and center it. I'm actually going to take this cut apart, slide it closer to the top so that we can have some of that flower showing. I'm going to use my big old spatula to get that nice and stuck. And isn't that just very festive? So then I'll go back to my sticker sheet and I'm going to take the sticker that was here that says birthday, and I'm going to place it right there. So now we have happy, happy, happy birthday on the outside of this sweet little card. So now we can open it and we can work on the inside. So on the inside, I'm going to add another piece of that six and a half by four and a half polka dot that I used on the outside. So I'll use my tape runner. I'm just going to add some tape. And we're going to take this and put it down. So I think what I want to do is take this calendar and we're going to place it down. And I'm going to mount it just as I did the piece on the front. So I'm going to take my tape place some tape and just give this a little bit of a wider border than I did the one on the front. And so now I'll just trim this and trim here.
Then we're going to take this and we're going to put this right here. So we have this mounted. I am going to use my stickers to grab some balloons because I want to place some balloons on this page. And then I'll take this piece and we're going to put it down. And that's really all you need right there. So I am going to take some more of my tape and we're going to place it on this piece. And we'll take this and put it down, trying to get it even. And I think that that is just so sweet. This is such a warm and personal way to make a birthday card that's meaningful to the person that's getting it and isn't just one of the generic run-of-the-mill cards that you can get at the store. And so we need a writing spot on the inside of this. And I'm actually going to go with this color, which ties in right here, because this is light enough to be able to write your birthday message. So I'm going to leave a part of that open for writing a message. So I am going to take my tape runner and just add some tape to this piece. And I really hope you guys cannot hear my stomach growling, but it is growling like crazy. And I'm going to take this and just put it down right there. So I'm going to pull in my sticker sheet yet again, and we are going to add some stickers. And I am going to take this one that says birthday wishes, and we're going to place that right here at the top of our journaling spot. And so then here at the bottom, I am going to take this little sticker that says it's party time and we're just going to put it right here. And y'all just like that, we were able to take a sticker sheet and a cut apart sheet, join them together to create a very personal birthday card, not one you're going to see in the store at all. This is truly festive and it's a one of a kind and it will be treasured because you made it. So if you have not yet added cut aparts and stickers to your crafting stash, go ahead and start building a collection because they are a very quick go-to solution for those times when you are looking for just the right sentiment or just a quick pop of color. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this quick and easy way of how you can use cut aparts and stickers in your crafting to get a very upscale, gorgeous look. If you have enjoyed this video, and I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.